Iran has shown off an extensive collection of its military drones. The hardware display came during the country's annual National Army Day Parade. The models demonstrated included an aircraft fitted for a variety of purposes, from committing simple kamikaze attacks and surveillance to carrying out precision strikes. Military trucks carried the latest additions to the Iranian Air Force, the Cayman 22 Reconnaissance and Strike Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, who have first shown in 2021 and Cayman 12 drones first produced in 2019. The military column also demonstrated the somewhat older CODS Mohajer 6 that was developed in 2017, as well as other drones in the Suev family developed for tactical combat purposes. Older Yasser surveillance drones and the Hisa Kararuev, normally used in shooting exercises, were also demonstrated during the parade, which was limited in scale this year due to COVID-19 limitations. Military vehicles also carried several models of Iranian guided missile systems, such as the Damavand Long Range Missile and Zulfaker system, that fires low altitude, short range missiles. Iran's path to becoming a formidable drone operating power in the region started with capabilities being significantly limited by international sanctions. The country had to rely on copying foreign drone models, retrieving debris from nearby countries, or after they were shot over Iranian skies. Now, the Iranian Air Force and the rest of the military can operate more professionally than ever before using modern military equipment developed in the conditions of economic war, the country's president Hassan Rouhani said. Drones are not the only sphere where the Iranian defense industry has been making progress over the last several decades. The country is currently producing its own small arms, warships, jets, and missiles, including ballistic rockets. The latter has been a point of concern for Israel and the U.S., with Washington suggesting that Iran's ballistic missile program be limited by the international community just like its nuclear program. Tehran, however, rejects any idea directed at impeding the development of its own ballistic missile weaponry insisting that it poses no threat to the U.S. due to the limited radius of Iranian missiles. Iran's paramilitary Revolutionary Guard, which answers only to Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, said it shot down the drone on Thursday morning when it entered Iranian airspace near the Kamabarak district in southern Iran's Hormozgan province. Kamabarak is some 1,200 kilometers, 750 miles, southeast of Tehran and close to the Strait of Hormuz. Iran's state-run Erna news agency, citing the guard, identified the drone as an RQ-4 Global Hawk. However, the U.S. Navy also flies a variant that looks similar called the MQ-4C Triton. The U.S. officials told the AP the Iranians fired a surface-to-air missile striking the American drone. The officials said the incident happened over the Strait of Hormuz in international airspace. The strait is the narrow mouth of the Persian Gulf through which 20% percent of all global oil moves through. The officials spoke on condition of anonymity as the information had yet to be cleared for release to the public. They did not elaborate on the type of drone shot down, nor the mission it was conducting. However, the U.S. has been worried about international shipping through the Strait of Hormuz since the limpet mine attacks in May and June. Salami, speaking to a crowd in the western city of Sinandaj, described the American drone as violating our national security border. Borders are a red line, Salami said. Any enemy that violates the borders will be annihilated. Iran has claimed to have shot down American drones in the past. And the most famous incident, Iran seized an RQ-170 Sentinel in December 2011 flown by the CIA to monitor Iranian nuclear sites after it entered Iranian airspace from neighboring Afghanistan. The Iranians later reverse-engineered